All right, friends, let's go to the empty tools folder and double click and launch blank. When you launch blank, let's scroll out a little bit so that our uh, size is small. Uh, I have learned that we cannot double click and get this little bar back, so sometimes you need to shrink it yourself so that that bar shows up on the screen, just so you know. Uh, so get that one small, pull it down, and today we are going to make a cool vertical lift. Start by using that gear tool that we used the other day. Draw a gear that's got uh, you know anywhere between 10 and 20 gears. Let's do this real smart by making it a hinge with a motor. And We found out yesterday reversed is gro uh, groovy. Let's change our RPMs to somewhere around 5 so that it's efficient. And let's make it super strong. If you want to do a forward and back key, you may. That's up to you. Uh, then grab that item and clone it. That way you don't have to set up those gears twice. And it's just groovy. Make sure you're not going to run into the ground. And stretch that little critter out so that they're above each other. And then let's use that same chain tool to actually draw a chain. Because I want you to make a vertical lift today. If your chain's not tight enough, you can delete it and try again. I actually saw somebody uh, delete a couple links and connect it back together to test it. But when you hit play, you should have the ability for that to lift and move over the chain. The next part of the project, and you can do this as cool as you want. I'm going to give you the basics. Your job is to make it more excellent, is to go to that cool brush tool. Make sure you turn on multi-draw, zoom in so you can see, and add an awesome hook so that you can catch um, balls. I want to catch objects and lift them across. You can make as many of those little hooks as you want. Uh, you do need to make sure that you leave a little bit of space. Uh, the hooks don't have to all be the same. Uh, I would try it with a few hooks before I make a billion hooks, uh, but see what you can do to make your hooks nice, cool, and functional. With the hooks built, hit play and see if it makes it around. Mine looks like it's lifting pretty doggone groovy, so I'm going to hit pause. And then the next thing I want you to do is to uh, make it so that the balls can come down and get picked up and then dropped on the other side. And if you come up with a cooler idea, that's fine too. Uh, we've done this before. Just grab a rectangle, slope the rectangle. Let's use multi draw to make a bump at the end of the rectangle so that the balls don't just go flying off it. And then it's super important that you um, set the collision menus. So we want this special uh, place that holds the balls to not collide with A because this chain is on collision menu A. But we need the balls to land on this. So when you make your first ball, notice I'm paused. When you make your first ball, you want it to collide with A and B. And these collisions are what make things uh, extra awesome. Looks like I had an oops. I'm going to just repair that quick by redrawing. I've still got multi-draw on. I zoom in, and I'm back in business. I could have went back and fixed it, but that's even better. Got to put that ball back because I accidentally deleted it. And I'm going to do collision menu and that ball has to collide with A and B. And now when I hit play, let's see if, oops, ha, ha, I forgot to uh, hit the X so that the uh, little lever stays in place. Don't forget to attach your stuff. Now let's hit play and test it to see if it actually works. Oh, so close. Let's see if the next one grabs it. Nope. So this is where I would adjust and try and make mine cooler. And then you also need to have something cool so that when they come to the other side, uh, they do something awesome. Uh, I'm going to go backspace. I'm going to pause. I'm going to draw that rectangle. This time I'm going to remember I'm going to tilt it just a little bit. And I'm going to attach it. I'm not going to forget I want to make sure that it does collide with B, but I don't want it to collide with A. I don't want my hooks to get stuck on it. Uh, because I have done that, I can get this really close so that no balls accidentally sneak past. 
And then, of course, I can do cool things like set my restitution so that that little cricketer uh, bounces nice. I'm going to make it a three. And you can just do whatever you want with this cool project. Hit play, give it another test. There you can see I finally caught one. Uh, the other thing I can do, I'm going to pause one more time. I'm going to pull this just a little bit closer uh, so that the ball is more in the wheelhouse of being caught. Take your old ball that you know works and clone it. Maybe create an apparatus so that uh, the balls show up automatically. Have fun and uh, see what you can make. If you do something incredible, please ask for a phone and share it. And congratulations on making a vertical lift.